Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to yet another video. We're on the grind, man. We're doing it all the time. I apologise for the creasiness in my shirt. Man, I've never ironed it, man. I don't have time to iron it. I've got a busy lifestyle, man. So, got the crease shirt on today. What can we do, man? Like I say, this is a video, prediction video for the weekend. It's games literally all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, live stream, Sunday, 11.50. I posted it out on Instagram last night. I posted the picture of saying I was going to be live streaming. If you're not yet already following me on Instagram, go over there, hit me a follow. Listen, man, I need the followers, man. Simple as that. I'm very, very poor at the minute. Now, man, listen, go over there, hit the follow. And there's some other socials in the description down below. You can go over there, check them out. Drop likes, drop follows. I don't really keep up with it, man. There's too much like and following going on for my business. But, yeah, if you guys want to do all your little cool kids down there, go out there, man, and like and follow all my socials. Much appreciated. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We're on like 346 at the minute. It's absolutely mad, man. It's absolutely incredible. You guys are class, man. I swear that from the bottom of my ass. Five pound more, I'll give them to everyone that subscribed. But unfortunately, I can't afford 346 pounds, lands. But you get my gist. You guys are absolutely incredible, man. So keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep smashing that like button down below. It means a lot to me. But this is the prediction video. Let's get into it, man. I've got through everything I need to say. Let's get into my prediction for the weekend. Again. Strictly, this is not biased because obviously Sunderland playing our league and people might think oh, I was predicting Sunderland to lose, etc. Not biased. It's just it's my own predictions, man. If you want to leave your predictions, uh, leave them down in the comments. Your predictions for all the games. Some people do it, man, and it's really, really interesting to see what your guys' predictions are. So leave them down below, and uh, like I say we'll chat about your predictions and chat about mine as well. But let's get into it and see how many we get right this weekend. So the first game happens tonight at quarter to eight. I think it is, or it might be an eight o'clock kickoff. I may mess it up already. Leeds United take on Sheffield United at Ellen Road. I don't know if this class is a derby now. I know it's a bit of a derby when Leeds played Sheffield Wednesday. My hair is a mess. Um, yes, yeah, so when Leeds played Sheffield Wednesday, it was always a bit of a derby. Pure because Sheffield United were in the Championship. Now the now Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday have been promoted. I don't know if this really counts as a derby anymore. I wouldn't know. So if you know, let me know in the comments. That's really bad for me, but I genuinely don't know if this is still a derby or not. Or if this is a derby. I'm guessing it still is because... Both teams are in Yorkshire, so I guess it kind of is still a derby, but nevertheless, let's, get, let's, let's talk about both teams. I've been impressed by both teams, truth be told. Leeds United have been killing it at home, man. Uh, and away from home as well, been getting some good points away from home, but at home especially, they've been, they've been killing off teams, uh, packed houses every week. Uh, it's great to see from Leeds, especially if you're a Leeds fan. You know what I mean? It's fantastic for you guys. You've really hit the ground running. Sheffield United, same team, man. Come up from the, they came up from League One and they hit the ground running. Doing really well at home. They're beating teams at home. Not so much away, but the home form is keeping them in it. And they're doing really well. And they're up there. I think they're in around the playoffs still, Sheffield United. So, fantastic to see from a team from League One. Absolutely killing the championship. And uh, I've gone for this one as I feel like Leeds have the advantage of being at home. If it's a derby, they've always got the home advantage. And another crowd behind them. Sheffield United to score, but Leeds United to score three. Three one to Leeds is what I'm predicting for this one. Now, on Saturday, we have an early kickoff. Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley. Uh, again, this might be a derby as well. So there's, no, there's that many teams that are close together in the north that play in this division, which is great for me because obviously I don't have to travel that far. I have to go to Reading tomorrow. A bomb of Tuesday is gone. But Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley is the game. Now, this might be a derby as well. 2 1 Sheffield Wednesday is what I'm predicting. Uh, again, Sheffield Wednesday. Um, I love playing Sheffield Wednesday at home at the Riverside. It's a fantastic atmosphere. Barnsley, obviously, we played them a couple of weeks back. Um, were, were we having an off day? Were they on it? Who knows? They got the draw. They scored two goals. Sheffield Wednesday, I believe they will beat them 2-1. Um, I don't think it'll be an easy game. I'm itching all over him. I'm, no, no, obviously not in my air. On my face and everything. I don't know why. It must be the sun. But, Sheffield Wednesday to beat these 2-1. That's my prediction. Burton versus Ipswich is the next one. Now, for me, I look at this one and I think... I should have gone for an Ipswich win. But I went for a 1-1. Now, why did I go for a 1-1? It's purely because Ipswich aren't on a good run of form at the minute. Obviously, they got beat by uh, Norwich in the, East, in, the, in the obviously East Anglian derby. And I feel that might have rocked them a little bit. I feel like the confidence would have been affected by that defeat. And uh, Burton, you know what I mean? They, they've they been tipped as one of the teams to go down. They're going to want to try and prove a point. They do win at home as well. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I think they've won one in the last six, and uh, I think that win came at home. I go for a draw. Don't ask me why. My mind is set on a draw for this game, and I can't change my mind. My mind is set on a one-one. Not even sitting on the fence. When I look at the fixture, 
I've actually scribbled out the score and I actually had 3-1 written down and then my mind told me, you know, it could be a 1-1. So I'm going 1-1. Cardiff versus Millwall is the next one. Now, Cardiff can't be here last weekend. Uh, truth be told, there will be Cardiff fans watching this, but they weren't great the afternoon against us and we weren't great against them. Um, I'd say, you know, they got a penalty for a stupid chance from Adam Traore and they got them the win. Fantastic to travel though, Cardiff. And uh, I'd say the fans, very, very loud that afternoon. Oh, kind of loud. Uh, and Millwall... Getting to get, obviously getting results at home and again not so much away. With that being in mind, I'm going for a Cardiff 3 1 win. Fulham versus Bolton. Honestly, I said Fulham v Borough then. Fulham v Bolton is the next one. I bought in a rock bottom and they ain't, and they ain't doing very well. I know they've got a win last couple of matches, but they're not exactly playing fantastic, are they? They're not exactly getting the results that they want. Fulham, very good at home. I went there this season. Got to say, what well, a fantastic away day. If you ever get the chance to go to Fulham, any fans that are watching this that aren't Borough related, Listen, go there, man, because even though it's expensive or whatever, it's fantastic to go to. It's a great away day. I see Fulham coming at 3-0 winners. Pukas Bolton, I don't feel like they have the strength to compete with a team like Fulham, um, who are really Fulham, a more than just a championship team for me. They deserve to be up there in the Premier League, but, you know, until until until, until they start moving up that table a bit more, they won't be a Premier League team. But I do believe that's about Fulham will be in the next couple of years in the Premier League. Bolton, I feel like they are going backwards and they will be a League One team next season. So we've got to be in mind. 3 0 Bolton. I mean, 3 0 Fulham. I feel sorry about that. I love Bolton. I love Bolton's away day. <clears throat> I think it's fantastic. I lost my voice there. But yeah, sorry, Bolton fans. I'm going to have to go for a 3 0 defeat for you tomorrow. Norwich versus Derby is the next one. This one, for me, I always say top championship fixture of the weekend. This would be for me. Norwich versus, Bo Norwich versus Derby. Two good sides. Two very exciting sides with uh, good, very good players in. Norwich have got a player that I'm a big fan of, and that's um, Oliveira and uh, Madison. I think Madison's a great, great player. He scored against Inspiration not so long ago, a couple of games ago. Derby, obviously, got a role by David Nugent. Seems to be doing bits for them. I like both teams, I'll be honest with you, but I just don't see Derby getting the victory in this one. I feel like Norwich will come out 3-1 winners, purely based on the fact that they have a lot of creative talent in the midfield to Norwich. they kind of got the sweeper as well. Madison, exciting player at midfield. He can drive forward with the ball and put it in the back of the net. Derby, I don't know. I just don't see them coming out as winners. I don't think they kind of. Had the, I don't think they have the sort of creative energy that Norwich have. Even though they're away from home and they're going to want a counter attack, Norwich's defence is fantastic. And um, they're very, very good as we saw coming up the pressure. They're seeing it against us. They got the goal and they sat back, and the back line was absolutely tremendous against us. We couldn't get through it. I feel like that's going to be Norwich's. Um, that's going to be Norwich's sort of good thing they had this season. Is a strong back line. Attackers will struggle to get through and go for a 3 1 Norwich. Yeah, just purely based on the fact that they've got creative talent and the back line is very, very solid. Preston versus Brentford is my next one down. Now, Preston have shot me this season. They really have. They're going home and away and they're getting points and they're, they're almost showing that never die attitude, which I love to see in the football club. Brentford came here a few weeks ago, got a 2 2 result. Played a fantastic game of football as well. I've gone for a 2 1 Preston. Uh, I feel like Preston will have more fight in them later on, and that's where the goal will come from. And so, yeah, 2 1 to Preston. QPR versus Wolves is the next one. Wolves go away from home once again, but honestly, Wolves have started so well, I can't see them losing this one. I've gone for a 3 0 Wolves. Might be a bit unfair on QPR. I think Wolves, man, Wolves are absolutely killing this division, and it's great for them. I've been so surprised at how well they've started, but listen, they brought in reinforcements in the summer, and unlike Butter, they have worked out well. They're killing the league. They're taking teams points off them that I didn't think they would do this season. And honestly, they look to, they look favourites to go up. Let's be honest. I mean, they're up there for a reason. Three the Wolves tomorrow. I don't see it. I don't see anything else but Wolves winning that one. Then it's our game. But I have to travel to Reading again tomorrow. It's another 11 or 12 hour round trip. It's a long journey to go to. But listen, I'm making the journey. Other Butter fans are going to have a safe travel. But Reading don't really have that attacking attacking presence. If you like, Liam Kelly, top goal scorer. Not being an idiot, never heard of the blog. I don't know who he is, and that's not me being arrogant or whatever, or you know, be uh, you know, being one of them fans if you like. I've genuinely never heard of the top goal scorer. Them, I'm sure they've heard of ours, but it's on Balonga. I think everybody in the championship knows him. Just Liam Kelly, never heard of him. He's top score, goal scorer for Reading on four goals, and Brett on Balonga's on our top goal scorer for six goals. It won't be an easy game. We haven't won there since 2009, so you've got to take all that into consideration. It will, it will, it will be a tough afternoon given the run of form that we're on as well. Coming off the back of a defeat in a cup to 3 1 to Bournemouth. We have to go there tomorrow. We have to show a passion and fight. If not, I will be fuming again. On my Butterfan TV interview, if you don't know what TV is, type in the search bar and go subscribe to them on YouTube and on Facebook. 
Tough game, but I'm going for a 2-1. But I said it in my preview. I do believe we can get three points. Three points have to come at some point. We can't get much worse than what we are, let's be honest. Reading, you know, they got beat by Sheffield United in the last game away at Sheffield United. Both teams want to get the victory. Very big game for both teams. I see this one out. Both teams need the victory. But both have to get it, in my opinion. We have to get the win. Um, purely because I'm a Butter fan, so I want to see us get the win. I'm doing the trek as well. It's about a 12 hour on trek. I, I want to be rewarded for my travels, man. 2 1 Butter. Come on, the Reds. Um, Sunderland v Bristol City is the next one. Sunderland, 23rd for a reason. They're not getting the results. The team ain't clicking. We don't know if it's a manager or whatever. Don't, we, I, don't, I don't know what it is, Sunderland, to why they're not winning games. Bristol City, coming off the back of an impressive 4 1 victory against Crystal Palace in the Cup. A victory I never thought they would get, but they got it. Fantastic the efforts from them. That momentum, I believe, will carry them through to tomorrow when they come up here to play Sunderland. And I feel like they'll see Sunderland in this position. And uh, I feel like I feel like they'll outclass them. And I feel like Bristol City will get a 2 0 win. The last one of the afternoon uh, is the late kickoff Hull City take on Nottingham Forest. And we got to go to Hull City on Tuesday. Hull City, if I go to home, we're not, something told me in this game Nottingham Forest will turn up tomorrow. Don't ask me what it is. I've gone for a 2 2. Nottingham Forest got away from home as well. The kind of got players that can sort of turn for the big games. That's how I see it. And this is kind of a big game. Norwich, I mean, it's just... <laughs> what the heck am I even saying? Hull came down last season. Um, and that's obviously a Premier League state. It's a bit like Middlesbrough. Every team wants to play against the teams that came down. And they want to show their worth as well. I feel like Nottingham Forest will get a victory of it. And I'm messing with I'm saying. I feel like Nottingham Forest will be able to get a draw tomorrow. And it will end 2-2. Sunday, obviously the live stream, 11.50. Why are we starting at 11.50? Because there's a derby on at 12 o'clock. Birmingham take on Aston Villa um, in this Midlands derby. Excited for this one. Obviously, I get to live stream, which I'll be sat in his exact position watching the game. Birmingham to lose 2-1 to Aston Villa. Aston Villa, I believe, got more attacking presence. And that will and that will, and that will push them through, right on through to victory. Uh, on Monday, there is a Premier League game, one being Burnley versus Newcastle. If I have to give you a prediction, um, Burnley to come out 2-0 winners in that one. I can live stream, and well, I'll see. Monday, I might be able to live stream Burnley, Newcastle, but as for right now, the live stream will take place Sunday at 11.50. You guys want to be here and see me talking like this and watching the game and trying to commentate best I can. Make sure to pop over to the channel at 11.50. And uh, like I say, we will have a great afternoon. I'll be on till about half past six. We're watching all the games, Super Sunday, including Birmingham, Aston Villa. You guys, if you want to come over and watch it, much appreciated. Remember, smash that like button down below. Leave me your predictions in the comments down below. And yes, yeah, subscribe. 500 subs before the end of the year. Palmos all around if you do it. You guys take care. Come on the butter for tomorrow. And I hope your team, wherever you're going home or away, let me know in the comments if you are going home or away with your team. I hope your team gets the three points as well. Have a good rest of your weekend. It's Friday night, man. Let's party and pull a bird. Up the butter.